Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. Welcome back to another Oblivion tutorial. And in this video, I will tell you guys my thoughts on how to use the thief sign. Now the thief sign is uh, arguably the best sign on paper in Oblivion. What it does is it adds 10 points to your agility, speed, and luck. It is the only sign that increases your attributes by more than 20 points total. The warrior sign does endurance and strength, but it skips out on luck. No, it's the only sign also that increases your luck, which that's things for like crit chance and loot spawns and whether someone would like to make a deal with you. Now the thief sign is a very touchy subject to me because in Oblivion, if you're a professional, you know that endurance is the holy grail of character creation and you must increase that if you want a max level character and one that is a complete badass now with the thief sign the way that i look at it is this speed excellent tool agility excellent tool because what agility does is it makes it so you're not going to get knocked over getting knocked on your ass and beat up sucks so you don't want that to happen. Speed, you freaking bolt around like Usain Bolt. What else can I say about it? And luck has the crit chance. So what would you use this sign for? Arguably, it is a very good combat sign because you can go in and out and just beat the crap out of people. You go in, punch, punch, back up, punch, punch, back up, or slash, slash, back up. You know, that's the standard way of looking at it. Another thing is I actually think this sign is the best for noobs because it makes your bow do a little bit more. Basically, you have the crit chance. Agility is also your sneak. Or speed is. I don't remember if speed or agility is a sneak. But your sneaking is going to be better and your bowmanship is going to be better. Archery, bowmanship, bow, bow mastery. I don't know. But it makes it... Bows are, I think, the hardest weapon to use in Oblivion, harder than magic. And so, for a noob, taking the hardest weapon and making it easier to use is excellent. It helps you learn to use the bow. It helps you to learn arrow velocity and aiming and the timing. It's great. So, if you're a noob, this sign is excellent to learn how to use the bow, or maybe you're just kind of exploring the game, you're using a sword for a bit. Because sword combat, I think, generally for a gamer, sword combat is easier to understand than bow combat. Just, I think that's just my opinion. I think more people play, you know, especially from the 90s, early 2000s, all those adventure games with, like, like Legend of Zelda and stuff. Lots of melee combat. So, the Thief Sign is very good for training yourself to use a bow. So, if you have a character that you want to experiment with archery, sneaking, of course, you know, the Thief Sign, natural thief. All right, if you want to practice stealing stuff, it's great. But I don't think... It's a necessary sign for the best possible character. If you want to make the best possible character, you have to increase your endurance. This one is good basically to experiment, make a character to experiment with every single stealth skill that you want to get good at, really. So it comes down to personality, can go screw itself, go shoot itself in the foot. You don't want to mess with that. But stuff like sneaking around, stealing stuff, using your bow... Also, not getting knocked over, right? That's a, that's a big, 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 big plus. And that luck bonus, I mean, if you can make a character and you're willing to sacrifice to get 100 luck, that's like god mode also. If you can max out endurance and luck, that is god mode. So, that's what I have to say about the Thief sign. One that I will occasionally use just for some experimenting with the meta. But that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe for more Oblivion videos on Oblivion things. I'm Pacific Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog of whatever I decide to make.